everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a 65 minute level three balancing, hip opening, and back bending class. So we work towards scorpion in pincher, we work towards a split scorpion and a full scorpion in handstand, and then there's a bunch of hip openers and balance poses on the way to get there. This is a bit of a mixed bag of a class. There's a little bit of like a half mand mandala in there, and some power yoga moves in there. There's some strength building stuff, um, and it's just all around generally sweaty. <laughs> If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe and tell a friend. And if you've got comments or feedback, please let me know in the comments section below. We are going to get started today in a kneeling position. We are going to start kneeling on our shins. Starting sitting on your heels, your toes can be flat or they can be tucked under. Take your hands to your thighs. Take a nice deep inhale, open the chest to the sky. And then as you exhale, dive forward, tap the forehead to the mat. One more like that, inhale, open the chest to the sky. Exhale, bring the forehead down. Inhale, open the chest to the sky. As you exhale, tabletop position. Inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale into your cat. Inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale into your cat. Take three more like this. Tuck under your left toes. On your next inhale, send the right foot up to the sky as you arch. As you exhale, you're going to lift the left knee, draw the right knee into the chest round. Inhale, come into your donkey kick in your cap, engage your glutes, I'm oh, sorry, in your cow. And then as you exhale, lift the left knee, tuck the right knee into the chest. We'll do three more like this. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Set the left knee down. Keep a neutral spine. Now take an inhale. As you exhale, the right foot comes to the sky. Don't arch your back. Inhale, tap it to the floor. Exhale, donkey kick. Inhale, tap it down. Take eight more here. If you want to make this more challenging, you're going to float that left arm out in front of you. Keep the leg lifted, keep the arm lifted if you've got it. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to cactus the left arm if it's lifted. Everybody's going to tap the right knee towards the right elbow. Inhale, come into your bird dog, reach the arm and the leg long. Exhale, cactus the arm, tap the knee to the elbow. Just three more here. You're going to stay with the arm cactus and the knee out to the side. Inhale, tap the right knee to the left. And then exhale, fire hydrant. Remember that left hand can be on the floor the whole time. Try and keep your pelvis as stable as you can. We've got seven more. Bring the left hand down, send the right foot back, tuck under the toes for plank, and then send the left leg back, high plank pose. Don't worry, we are going to do the other side. You're going to take a couple of shifts forward and backwards on the wrists. You could do this from tabletop if that felt better in your body. And then we're going to take circles clockwise. I'm going to take some circles anti-clockwise. Now 
come back to your high plank pose. Take an inhale. As you exhale, send those hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Straight away as you inhale, ripple forward into your plank. And then as you exhale, like I'm pulling you up by your hip creases, send your hips back. Downward dog. Just three more like that. Shift back forward into your high plank pose. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to straight leg raise the right. Inhale, tap the toes down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap down. We're going to do eight more here. Use your glute and your hamstring. Try and keep your pelvis nice and steady and don't throw into your lower back. Last one, keep it up there, take an inhale. As you exhale, without shifting the rest of the body, see if you can tap the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, send it back to your plank. Exhale, right knee to the elbow. Inhale to plank. So when I say try not to move the rest of the body, try not to side crunch and try not to shift through your shoulders. If your knee doesn't touch your elbow, it's not a big deal, it doesn't matter. We've got five more. Last one, set the foot back, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale and a nice deep exhale. Shift forward into your high plank pose, inhale, and then as you exhale, set the knees down. Inhale, cow belly breath, exhale, tuck and round. This time we'll take the left leg with us, tuck under the right toes. Inhale, sole of the left foot comes to the sky, cow belly breath. As you exhale, lift the right knee, draw the left knee in towards the nose. Inhale, lower the right knee, left foot to the sky. Exhale, lift the knee, tuck. Three more here. The last one. Lower the right knee, keep a neutral spine, take an inhale. As you exhale, donkey kick with the left leg. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale to donkey kick. Inhale, tap it down. We've got eight more. Once again, if you want to reach that right arm out in front of you for an extra challenge, you can. Keep the leg up there. Take an inhale. As you exhale, cactus the arm, left knee to elbow. Inhale, take it back long. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale, spinal balance. Exhale, cactus the arm, bend the knee. Inhale, spinal balance. We do two more of these. Hold it in. Keep the arm out to the side if you're using the arm. Inhale, tap the left knee to the right. Exhale, fire hydrant. Inhale, tap in. Exhale, fire hydrant. Eight more. Keep the leg lifted, set the right hand down, tuck the left toes to the back of the mat for plank, and then send the right foot back to meet it. This time we're going to take side plank little rotations. So swivel your heels to the right, inhale, pick up the left arm, side plank, exhale, come back through center. Swivel the heels to the left, inhale, pick up the right arm, side plank, exhale, to center. Listen carefully, inhale, see if you can step the left toes behind the right as you inhale the left arm up, and then exhale to center, step the right toes behind the left leg, inhale, sweep the right arm up, exhale to center. You can keep going with that, or maybe those toes float behind the grounded leg as you come into your side plank. 
We're going to do one more on each side. Come into your plank pose. Second inhale. As you exhale, downward dog. Inhale, come back into your plank pose. As you exhale, we're taking those straight leg lifts with the left. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale to lift. Eight more. Keep it up. Take an inhale. As you exhale, left knee to the elbow. Keep the rest of the body still. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, send it back. Eight more. Last one. Bring it back to plank all the way into downward facing dog. On your inhale, tap the elbows to the mat like you're coming into dolphin. And then exhale, press the floor away. Inhale, the elbows shoot to the back of the room, not to the sides. And then exhale, press away. Just three more. And then set those elbows all the way down. Walk the toes in, dolphin pose. Take an inhale here. Keep your hips even, toes face down. As you exhale, take the right leg to the sky. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, lift from the glute. Inhale, tap it down. So when you lift, don't externally rotate yet. We've got one more. Now we're going to let those, let those toes turn out to the side as you exhale, lift. Inhale, tap down. So now you'll feel it more where your back side pocket would be. We've got three more. Set the toes down. Look forward. We're going to peel forward to chaturanga. So start to shift forward. Lift the elbows off chaturanga. And then lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toes. Inhale, peel up baby cobra. And then as you exhale, roll it down. Inhale, elbows to the back of the room. Shoulders along down the back. Exhale, roll it down. Three more. Last one. We're going to hold it up here. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring your arms off to capital T. Keep your upper body lifted as you inhale. See if you can tap your palms to the floor. Exhale, lift them up. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift up. Your feet are still pressing into the floor. Your pubic bone is pressing into the floor. You're drawing your lower belly away from the floor. And you're trying not to draw your shoulders up into your ears. So see if you can squeeze the back of your shoulder blade. Obviously, <laughs> your shoulder blade is a bone and you can't actually squeeze that bone, but that's where those muscles are that you want to work, sitting on the back of the shoulder blade. We do two more here. Bring your hands back underneath your shoulders, tuck under your toes, take an inhale, and then as you exhale, elbows hug the body as you press up into plank. Inhale, downward dog, take an exhale here. Inhale, drop the elbows, dolphin pose. As you exhale, keep the hip neutral, that left leg lifts. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale to lift. Inhale, tap it down. Just three more here. And now you're going to let those left toes turn out to the left. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Four more. Come back into your dolphin pose, look forward, shift forward, chaturanga, take an inhale, take an exhale, take an inhale, take an exhale, one more, lower all the way down to the belly, 
This time, make a little cushion with your hands. Take your knees wide, press your heels together, and then draw your heels in towards your butt. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, without sending the heels away from your body, see if you can lift the thighs. And then inhale, slow control, tap it down. Exhale, lift the knees. Inhale, control the lower. We've got five more and then we'll add on. We'll do one more. This time we're going to take the hands out to like a wide V. So in line with the top corners of your mat, take an inhale, same position with the legs. As you exhale, see if you can lift everything up, squeeze the heels in towards the glutes, inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift everything up, reach the fingertips long, inhale, bring it all down. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. We'll do five more. Last one, hold. As you inhale, you're going to send the legs long into a star. And then as you exhale, bring those heels together. Upper body stays the same. Inhale, split the legs. Exhale, bring them back together. We've just got three more. Take the hands under the hips, neutralize, sorry, hands under the shoulders, neutralize the hips, take an inhale. As you exhale, press the body away, high plank pose, and then send the hips all the way up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, you're going to sweep that right leg up. As you exhale, open the hip, draw down through the right arm, take an inhale here. As you exhale, keep the open hip, straighten the right leg, point the toe, inhale, draw the heel to the glute. Exhale, point, inhale, draw in, just three more. You're gonna bend that knee. Option to stay here, option to play with coming up onto the left fingertips. Maybe the left hand can come to the center of the mat. Maybe the left hand can find the left leg, or you can reach it all the way back up and see if you can find the right foot. I have no idea where my right foot is. My hand is just floating in space. I feel like I'm touching where my foot should be. Hold for a couple of seconds. And then with or without setting the left hand down, you're going to step the right foot all the way to the outside of the right hand. And then set the left hand down, coming into your lizard lunge. Take a couple of breaths here. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving back and forward, maybe side to side. <clears throat> you can come down onto your elbows if you want to. And we're going to take horizon pose. So plant down through the left hand. As you inhale, outside edges of both feet, sweep the right arm to the back of the mat. As you exhale, you're going to lift the hips, sweep the arm to the top of the mat. Inhale, sink down exhale lift up three more you're going to inhale sink down big transition this time as you exhale you're going to lift your hips step the right foot all the way behind the left leg coming into wild thing inhale open the chest up towards the sky and on the ball of your right foot you're pressing down through your left Good. Take a moment here, maybe roll out the wrist. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, you're going to come back. Single leg plank, option for a single leg chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Hold. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, baby cobra. 
As you exhale, lower down, press the floor away, high plank pose, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, sweep the left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, open the hip, neutralize through the shoulders. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, straighten the left leg. Inhale to bend. Exhale to straighten. Inhale to bend. Three more. You're going to curl that left heel into the glute. Option to stay. Option one, right fingertips. Option two, fingertips to the middle of the mat. Option three, find the right leg or find the left foot. With or without the use of your right hand, you're going to step that left foot all the way forward to the outside of the left hand, coming into your lizard lunge, taking a couple of breaths to move forward and backwards, side to side. And then planting down through the right hand as you inhale, sweep the left arm to the back of the room, outside edges of both feet. As you exhale, you're just going to lift the hips up, sweep the arm to the top of the mat. Inhale, sink into your horizon pose. Exhale, rainbow the side body. Three more. Inhale, come down into your horizon pose. As you exhale, you're going to lift the hips, step that left foot all the way behind the right leg, and then open yourself up into your wild thing. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, come through your high plank pose, option to keep that left leg floating. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Hold. Lower all the way down. Inhale, baby cobra. And then as you exhale, press the floor away. Plank pose to downward dog. Look to the top of your mat. Step, walk, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise all the way up. Engage the glutes as you exhale, cactus the arms, send the chest through the shoulders. Through the shoulders, through the elbows. Inhale, open up or stand up. <laughs> exhale, forward fold. Wow, that was good instructions. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. We're in Surya Namaskar A. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, baby cobra, or you can come back to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look to the top, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Option to skip this bit. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, your back bend. Option for a third chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, down dog. Step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, cactus yarns. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, option for that third chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, down dog. Step, walk or float. Two more rounds. Make it your own. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, down dog. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, raise. Final round. Exhale, cactus. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, down dog. Look to the top, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. We're going to hold for five breaths. Set up your alignment. Make sure your knees are in line with your toes, whether your feet are together or not. Weight is back in the heels, but keep your toes down on the ground. Drop your hands down in line with your shoulders. Take an inhale. Ground down through the left foot as you exhale. Draw the right knee into the chest. Take an inhale here. Keep your single leg chair. As you exhale, you're just going to send that right foot behind you like a donkey kick. And then as you inhale, draw it into the chest. Exhale, send it back. Try not to rotate through your pelvis. Inhale, bring it back to center. We've got eight more here. Really engage your glutes on both sides. Keep the single leg chair, draw the right knee into the chest, sit a little bit lower, lengthen through the upper spine, take an inhale, and then as you exhale, straighten that left leg. Come all the way to standing. You're going to take the right ankle, cross it over the left knee, and then we're going to come back down into that squat for our figure four. You can stay here. Otherwise, I'm going to add a couple of challenges. Take your hands wherever it feels the best for you. Option number one, take an inhale. As you exhale, you'll come up in a little squat. Inhale, come down. Exhale, come up. Inhale, come down. We're going to do eight more of these. You could stay with that. Otherwise, we're going to lift that left heel. Take an inhale. As you exhale, left tippy toes. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, raise up. Inhale, bring it down. We've got eight more of whatever you're doing. Straighten that left leg, bring that right knee all the way in towards the chest. Take a nice deep inhale. And then as you exhale, you're going to send it back behind you. Keep the legs straight, keep the hip neutral. Hinge forward a little bit at the hips. This is like a natural adjust and a preparation. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to lift that leg behind you. Inhale, tap it down. Lift from the glute. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, tap down. I know your left leg is talking to you. Take a break if you need to. You're going to take that right leg up, hinge forward at the hips, coming all the way into your warrior three. Inhale, sweep those arms forward. We're just here for a breath. Exhale, forward fold, standing splits. You could stay in your standing splits if you wanted to. Otherwise, if you have a handstand practice or if you want to work with some handstand hops, we're going to make our way to a scorpion handstand later in class. So this is a good time to get in some practice. And as always, I'm facing the wrong way, and I'm trying to handstand up a little hill. <laughs> you came upside down much more gracefully than I did. Come back into your standing splits. Set that right foot down. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. 
exhale, bring the hands down in line with the shoulders. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, ground down through the right foot, left knee to chest. Inhale. As you exhale, donkey kick behind you. Inhale to the chest. Exhale, donkey kick. Inhale to the chest. Eight more. Keep that single leg squat. Take your hands around your left shin. Take an inhale, see if you can lengthen the spine. And then exhale, you're gonna straighten out through that right leg. Cross the left ankle over the bottom of the right thigh. Sit those hips back into that figure four squat. It should feel really good on that left glute. Again, you've got your options. We're gonna start with those squats. So inhale, sink lower. Exhale, lift a bit. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. So it's like a little mini range of movement. You should really feel your glute working. Got seven more. You can do 10 more of those. Otherwise, we're going to go feel that heel lift on your exhale. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, lift the right heel. Inhale, set it down. Eight more wherever you are. Ooh, leg on fire. Straighten out that right leg. Draw that left knee in towards the chest. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to float that left leg back behind you. You can bring the torso forward a little bit. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, engage that leg, lift it up. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, little lift. Inhale, tap it down. We do six more. Keep that leg lifted, hinge forward at the torso. Inhale, sweep the arms forward for warrior three. And then exhale, come all the way down into your standing split. Let me turn around so I'm on the better side. Option to stay here. Otherwise, if you're working with your handstand, try kicking up on the other leg. So for me, this is my hard leg to kick up from. <laughs> and that's not happening. Feel free to stay in your handstand longer, otherwise you're going to float yourself down to your standing split. Set the left foot down, inhale, halfway lift and lengthen, exhale, forward fold, inhale, chair pose, exhale, fold, inhale, lengthen, exhale, step walk or float, chaturanga, take your vinyasa. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Sit up for warrior two. Inhale, cartwheel yourself all the way open. For this first one, we'll settle in for five or so breaths. Set up your alignment, heel to toe. Nice and tall through the torso. Make sure you can see your right big toe. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to bring that right hand down to the inside or the outside of the right foot coming into your side angle. You could also bring right forearm to thigh, but don't collapse into it. If you're coming here, you're pressing away from your leg. You could stay with the left arm reaching, or if you wanted to come into a half bind, you could. We'll work into a full bind later. As you inhale, you're going to come all the way up to five-pointed star, turn the toes out to the corners of the mat, and then as you exhale, goddess squat. 
Inhale, raise up. Exhale, goddess squat. Three more like this. We're going to hold in our goddess squat. Take an inhale. As you exhale, raise the heels. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Three more. Inhale, five-pointed star. We're going to come into triangle at the back of the mat as you exhale, straighten out through that left leg. Draw back at the left hip crease and lengthen the left side of your waist. You could stay here or you can reach the bottom arm to the top of the mat, maybe the now top of the mat, and then you can reach that right arm forward as well. As you inhale, you're going to reverse your triangle. Listen carefully, big transition. As you exhale, we're coming to tree at the back of the mat. So ground down through that left foot. Bring the sole of the right foot into the inner left thigh. And then take your hands up and overhead, heart center, wherever you want to take them. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, we're coming forward into warrior three. We're going to hold this one. Level off your hips to the floor. So you'll probably have to draw your left hip back a little bit in space and your right hip down. And then once again, your hands can come to airplane. They could come to the heart or they could reach out in front. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, you're going to plant the hands. Once again, option to stay in your standing split. Otherwise, you could take a couple of hops towards handstand here. And then we're all going to flow through a vinyasa. Inhale, the left leg sweeps up. Exhale, step it to the now top of your mat, setting up for warrior two on your second side. Figure out your alignment and then settle in for five breaths. Take an inhale. On your exhale, left hand comes down for your side angle pose. On your inhale, you're going to come all the way up to your five-pointed star. As you exhale, sink into your goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Three more. Hold in your goddess. Take an inhale. As you exhale, heel raise. Inhale, down. Exhale, raise. Inhale, down. Three more. Inhale, five-pointed star. As you exhale, we're coming into triangle on the right-hand side. i got a bit of a hamstring thing going on here, so I'm going to bend my knee a lot. But if you can, you're going to straighten your right knee. And once again, same options. You could take those arms out in front of you, or you could keep them in a more traditional shape. As you inhale, you're going to reverse your triangle, ground down through that right foot. We're going to step all the way to the top of the mat. Sole of the left foot comes to the inner right thigh, for, excuse me, for our tree pose.
my body has chosen a very inconvenient time to get the hiccups. We'll take one more breath. Take another inhale. As you exhale, you're going to hinge forward, coming into your warrior three. Set up your lower body alignment and then choose what you want to do with your arms. Take an inhale, and then as you exhale, bring those hands down. Once again, a moment to play in standing splits or picking up into your handstand. Wherever you are, you're going to float it back with or without a vinyasa, all the way to downward dog. That's going to be our Surya Namaskar B. We're going to flow it to the breath. Look to the top of your mat, step, walk, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, we're going to come all the way to triangle at the back of the mat. Inhale, reverse your triangle. As you exhale, tree pose. Inhale, warrior three. As you exhale, listen carefully, you're just going to plant the hands, give a kick with the right foot to hop the left leg to the back of the mat, and then take it through your vinyasa. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, goddess pose. Option to raise the heels. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, triangle to the top of the mat. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, tree pose. I forgot what the name of this pose was. Inhale, warrior three. As you exhale, plant the hands, give a big hop with that right foot to the back of the mat, and then take it through your vinyasa. We're going to go through that one more time, and then we're going to add on a little bit. Look to the top of your mat, step, walk, or float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, step, walk, or float your vinyasa. You can always skip them. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, step it through for warrior two. Inhale, vira two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, goddess, option to raise the heels. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, tree pose to the back of the mat. Inhale, come into your warrior three. Exhale, plant the hands, spirit hop, vinyasa. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. 
inhale, five-pointed star, exhale, goddess. Inhale, five-pointed star, exhale, triangle to the top, inhale, reverse, exhale, tree pose, inhale, warrior three, exhale, plant the hands, spirit hop, your vinyasa. From your downward dog, you're going to lower your knees and we're going to come into puppy pose. We're going to work our way towards Pinchamayarasana and I'm going to give you the option to add a scorpion here. But first, keep those hips above your knees, walk your hands forward and then let your forehead meet the mat. So I don't want you to tuck your chin and strain your neck and look forward towards the top of the mat. If you can get your chest and your forehead to your mat, because your shoulders are that open and it feels okay, then good for you. Keep nice and active through the arms and don't just passively flop into your joints, but don't strain your neck. You can totally hang out here. Otherwise, you're going to get the joy of watching me fail to do pinch my arsenal because I'm not doing very good inversions today. We're going to plant down for the forearm, through the forearms. We're going to start by shifting in to a forearm plank. Again, you could stay here. Otherwise, you're going to walk your feet up into your dolphin pose. You could stay here. If you wanted to do dolphin push-ups, you would take your feet back a little bit, shift forward and back, seeing if you can tap your nose between your thumbs. Otherwise, you're going to take your favorite leg forward and your other leg is going to come up. You're going to kick up into your pinch of Mayurasana. If you wanted to come to scorpion, you're going to bend your knees. So just like we did with all those donkey kicks, squeeze your heels to your glutes and then see if you can move your sternum through the gateway of your arms. So don't just dump into your lower back. Lengthen the space between your rib cage and your pelvis. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. I really thought I was going to fall. <laughs> if you came into scorpion, see if you can straighten yourself back out. And then everybody's going to meet in a forearm plank. You're going to take a couple of shifts backwards and forwards. Neutralize the spine, engage the core. Obviously, feel free to pause and play around with that more if you want to. And then we're going to slowly lower the hips all the way down to the mat. Whew, coming in to sinks pose. Draw the elbows towards the hips, reach the sternum through the gateway of the arms. Take a couple of breaths here. And then slowly you're going to lower it all the way down. Interlace your fingers behind your back. If you, if you try and lift your hands off and your shoulder heads sink towards the mat, you're going to keep your fists on your sacrum and draw your shoulders away from your mat. That's where I am. If you can keep your shoulders wide and lift your hands off and straighten your elbows, then go for it. You're going to bend your knees, curl your heels in towards your glutes, keep your hips neutral. Take an inhale. As you exhale, start by peeling your chest off. Press your thighs down into the mat and squeeze your heels in towards your glutes. Take another inhale. Now as you exhale, keep everything the same. Just see if you can lift your thighs off, open your collarbones. Maybe you're reaching those hands back in between the calves. Ankles, calves, calves. I don't know how you pronounce that word. Take one more breath. As you exhale, hands under the shoulders, tuck under the toes, press the floor away, high plank pose, and then downward facing dog. We're going to come back to our little flow and we're going to add a couple of things on. Look to the top of your mat, step, walk, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, drop the hands in line with the shoulders. Inhale here. Exhale, right knee to chest. Inhale. Exhale, one time donkey kick. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, press to stand. Cross the right ankle over the left knee. Take an inhale, sit back into your chair. You could stay here. You could take the squats or 
I'm going to offer up flying pigeon. I'm getting my towel so that I don't slip. Your four, um, sorry, your shin will come to the back of your arms. Your right toes will hook around the back of your left elbow. Shift your weight forward. Make a shelf with your arms. Draw the left heel into the glute. And then maybe you can send that left leg back behind you. Draw that left knee back in. Everybody come back into your figure four. Take an inhale. As you exhale, come all the way to standing right knee to the chest. Inhale, you're going to send that left leg behind you. As you exhale, this time we're going to tilt the torso forward a bit. You're going to hamstring curl. Inhale, tap the toes. Exhale, hamstring curl. Inhale, tap the toes. We're getting ready for Natra Jasana. One more. You're going to keep that bend. Take an inhale. As you exhale, donkey kick. Inhale it back in. Exhale, donkey kick. Inhale it back in. Try not to turn your hip out. We've just got three more. Keep that donkey kick. Keep that hamstring curl. See if you can reach your right hand back to find your right heel. Maybe you grab the foot. Maybe your left hand reaches forward. Maybe you hinge forward a little bit more. So I'm not using that hand to yank into more of a back bend. I'm using it as a little bit of a shoulder opener and I'm using it a little bit to kick my foot into my hand to activate my quads. Take one more breath. We're going to release, come all the way into your warrior three. And then as you exhale, hands come down. I'm going to give you a couple of options here. You can play with handstand. You can play with standing split. Otherwise, I'm going to offer you a split scorpion handstand. Let's see if I can do it. Your right leg is going to stay bent. You're going to come into an L handstand, but that right leg is going to be in a scorpion. So your left leg would be ideally parallel to the ground. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it today. And then your right leg, you're bending through that knee as if you're trying to get the sole of the foot Oh, I can't do it today. To the back of the head. Oh, there we go. Sort of. If at first you don't succeed, try and try and try and try again. Come back into your standing splits. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, both feet down, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands in line with the shoulders. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, draw that left knee into the chest. Inhale, exhale, donkey kick. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, press to stand. Inhale, cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Sink down into your squat. This feels really good. You can stay here. Otherwise, the left shin will come to rest on the back of the right arm. Shift your weight forward. Grip the right, uh, sorry, the left toes around the right arm. Draw the right heel into the glute, and then maybe you can extend that right leg away from the body. And when you're ready, you're going to come all the way out of it. Everybody back into your figure four. Take an inhale. As you exhale, come all the way to standing. Inhale, that left leg comes behind you. As you exhale, you're going to hamstring curl. Inhale, tap down. Exhale, hamstring curl. Inhale, tap down. Three more. Hold your curl. Tilt forward a little bit more. As you exhale, donkey kick. Inhale to center. Exhale, donkey kick. Inhale to center. Three more. Hold that donkey kick. Hold that hamstring curl. See if your left fingertips can find the right, uh, sorry, the left foot. Reach that right foot forward. Maybe hinge forward a little bit more and give a little bit of a kick out into that foot. Inhale, you're going to release into your warrior three. And then as you exhale, plant the hands, standing splits. 
same options as before handstand standing split or you can try this scorpion split variation If you're in that scorpion, keep squeezing the heel in towards the glute, lengthen the pelvis away from the ribs. Everybody's going to hop themselves back. Forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step walk or float, vinyasa, skip it. We meet in downward dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, half bind, option to stay. Exhale, full bind, option to stay. Inhale, left foot steps forward. As you exhale, draw that right knee in towards the shoulder like we did in those planks, coming all the way to stand. Option to extend that right knee for Bird of Paradise. You extended the knee bring it back everybody set that right foot down step all the way back into your side angle and unwind yourself inhale five pointed star exhale goddess inhale five pointed star exhale triangle pose look forward you're going to come all the way into your half moon pose option to stay otherwise option to bend the right knee See if you can find the right foot to pass in a sugar cane pose. From here, we're going to come all the way to standing tree. So ground down through that left foot. Sole of the right foot comes into the inner left thigh. Take an inhale, exhale as you inhale standing uh sorry warrior three and then as you exhale plant the hands standing split hop that leg back with or without a vinyasa downward dog inhale the left leg up exhale step it through inhale warrior two exhale side angle stop anywhere that you need to inhale half bind exhale Full bind. Inhale, right foot steps to the top. Exhale, press down through the right foot. Come all the way to stand. Bird of paradise. He extended that left leg, bring it down. Everybody set the left foot down. Walk yourself back into your side angle. Unwind yourself. On your inhale, come up five pointed star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, triangle pose. Bend the right knee. Send the right hand forward, half moon, or bending through that left knee, seeing if you can find the foot. Chapasana. You're going to release all the way into your standing tree pose. Take a full cycle of breath. On your next inhale, come into your warrior three. And then as you exhale, plant the hands, step or float, vinyasa, skip it. You meet in downward dog. We'll take that one more time to the breath. And at the end, I'll give you the opportunity to come into a full scorpion in handstand. Look to the top, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, your vinyasa or skip it. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior two. 
Exhale, side angle. Inhale, half bind. Exhale, full bind. Inhale, left leg steps forward. Exhale, bird of paradise. Inhale, step the foot back down. Exhale, step the foot back, unwind. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, chapasana. Inhale, tree pose. Exhale, warrior three. Take an inhale, reach the arms. And then as you exhale, step, walk, or float through your vinyasa. On your inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, half bind. Exhale, full bind. Inhale, right leg steps. Exhale, bird of paradise. Inhale, bring it back down. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, chapasana. Inhale, standing tree. Exhale, warrior three. Take an inhale. As you exhale, plant the hands. So here's our opportunity to play with the handstand scorpion. So pick your favorite leg that you want to kick up on into handstand. Again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this balance, but we'll see. So once you've found your handstand, you're going to bend your knees. You're going to draw your heels in towards your glutes. And then you're going to send your sternum through the gateway of your arms. So the most important thing is to send the sternum forward. Because your feet are coming over your head, you need to counter that your head also coming a little bit through. If you came into it, come back into your handstand, and then everybody come down. Generous bend in the knees, take a forward fold. Just let yourself sway side to side. If this doesn't feel like what you need after a deep back bend, then you choose what does feel good for you. And then you're going to plant the hands, step walk or foot, take it through a vinyasa. We're going to shift all the way forward and make our way down onto our belly. We're going to take bow pose and then we're going to roll over and take a wheel pose or a bridge. If you wanted to play around with a forearm balance in scorpion again, pause the video. Now would be a great time. Okay. You can stick with the version that we did before. Otherwise, bend your heels. Same as always. Squeeze your heels into your glutes and then reach your fingertips back. If you're way, way off your feet, do not try and grab them. Stick with an open chain. You're much safer for your back. If without too much maneuvering, you can get your feet, you're holding onto them lightly. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, use the strength of your glutes, your back muscles to lift you up off the floor. Draw your lower belly away from the floor. If you let go of your feet, the arch in your back pretty much shouldn't change. You'll have less of a quad stretch and maybe less of a shoulder opener, but you're not just dumping into your lower back. One more. And then slowly release, rock your hips from side to side. Tuck under the toes, plant the hands, take an inhale. As you exhale, high plank pose, and then send it all the way back, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of your mat, step, walk or float through to a seat, and then Navasana, boat pose. So, you can have your hands behind your knees, you could have your legs straight, you could have your heels on the ground. If your legs are floating, I'm going to encourage you to lean back a little bit more, get your legs straight and just hovering off the ground. Try and keep 
your left leg still. As you exhale, float your right leg out to the right. Inhale it back in. Now keep your right leg still. Inhale, float the left leg. Exhale it back in. So when you float one leg out to the side, the other leg's going to want to try and help you by compensating, either drifting out or drifting in. I want you to try and keep it as still as you can, even if that means that your range of movement is much, much less. We're just going to do one more on each. Draw those knees in towards the chest, sit up nice and tall, inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly roll yourself all the way down onto your back. So I'm going to talk you through bridge and wheel. I'm not practicing wheel right now because it's not good in my body, but I will talk you through it. So set your feet up about hips distance apart. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to engage your hamstrings, engage your glutes, lift your hips up towards the sky. You could stay here. You could bring a block underneath your sacrum for supported bridge. Or if you're going to wheel, you're going to flip your hands over so that your fingers are touching your shoulders. Elbows don't come out to the side. Keep your whole palm on the ground. Squeeze your elbows in towards you. You're going to do it in one movement. You're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, press the ground away from you. Engage your triceps and then lift yourself up into a, um, into a wheel pose. It's like a rainbow shape. Keep engaging your glutes. Keep breathing nice and deep. Try not to come up onto the crown of your head. When you've had enough of wheel to come down, you're going to tuck your chin in towards your chest. You're going to land on the back of your shoulders gently with control. And then slow roll yourself down. And then we'll all make our way down onto our backs, drawing our knees in towards our armpits. So take your knees a little bit wider than just drawing them in towards your chest and then take a rock from side to side. And then you're going to take your legs up to the tabletop, take your hands behind your head, take an inhale. As you exhale, curl the upper body up. Take an inhale, your head is nice and relaxed. As you exhale, just send the right leg long, inhale it back in. Exhale, left leg long, Inhale it back in. Just four more on each side. Draw those knees in towards the chest. Take the hands out to capital T. And then you're going to take your favorite spinal twist coming over to the left drawing the right shoulder down. And then come back through center, switch sides. And then you're going to bring it back through center, hug the knees in towards the chest, take a happy baby pose. If you want to get a little bit more hamstring stretch, you can play around with straightening out through one leg at a time. And hugging the knees in towards the chest, curl yourself up into a tiny little ball. Please take any other movements you feel like you need to to make your practice complete. When you're ready, take a nice deep breath in through the nose, hold it at the top. And then let it go through the mouth, Shavasana. Come to your final resting position, whatever that looks like for you. And as always, saying here for as long as you have time for or as long as what serves you, letting yourself feel supported on the mat, having gratitude for you and the time that you took to show up here today. 
as always, thank you so much for practicing with me today as you go forward. May you have kindness in your thoughts, clarity in your words, and generosity in your heart. Namaste.